Yo, what's going on guys? And we found out why Jordan Poole was traded. I told you guys, it's kind of funny, Jordan Poole being in this trade is eerily reminiscent to Eric Gordon being in the first Chris Paul trade where Chris Paul was traded to the Clippers and Eric Gordon was sent to the Pelicans, well, the Hornets at the time, then they became the Pelicans. And he spent five years there and he was like a building block. You wouldn't say he was like a franchise player, but he he developed and they were able to, you know, use him as a compl complimenting piece to Anthony Davis. And that's kind of how I see Jordan Poole working out for the Wizards, that he plays out his deal. We give him an extension. He hopefully becomes like a borderline all-star that in like five years, we are able to, you know, flip for some assets to contending team and he grows. But we found out why the Warriors got rid of him besides, you know, besides freeing up cap space. That's like the obvious thing that they got right here, which gave them cap flexibility, which would allow them, allow them next year to keep Clay Thompson. So the Golden State Warriors traded Jordan Poole on the afternoon of the draft, which not only saves themselves money and eliminates an inner personal distraction with Draymond Green, but it also may benefit their offense. Poole's a talented shot creator. The man averaged 20 plus points. But his fit within Steve Kerr's offense was sometimes awkward. Zach Lowe had Kirk Goldsberry on his podcast, who said, I had one of one warrior source tell me they don't just play chaos ball. They sort of play cadence ball. It looks chaotic, but there's a cadence. There's a heartbeat to that jazzy sort of motion they have. Chris Paul is smart enough to slide in there. One of my warrior friends told me, that at times, Jordan Poole was just off rhythm with what they were trying to do. Jordan Poole was taking one or two too many dribbles. He wasn't in the right place. Players were frustrated. You have to be high IQ, sort of selfless basketball player to fit in to what Steve Kerr has engineered there. And it makes sense. That Jordan Poole being off rhythm, I mean, one of my favorite quotes, you guys know I'm a Wizards fan, but one of my favorite quotes from The Athletic is, the reason Jordan Poole's good is because he doesn't know how bad he is. Jordan Poole's the most irrationally, the most irrational, high confident guy ever, or irrationally low confident, high confident guy ever, something like that. And I think, I like Jordan Poole, but we just kind of want to know if like this hot and cold style if there's more to it or if this is just it. And I think there's room to grow. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think Jordan Poole is going to look like?